Welcome to Desire. This time we gaze into our crystal ball for a glimpse of the hotel of the future. And a green alternative to luxury two-wheel travel. We scour the French forest for a gourmet treasure and indulge in the world's most expensive ice cream. But first, to dip into a very desirable piece of the past. A rare friendship book has sold for more than double the highest estimate at a Christie's book auction. Estimated at between 600,000 and 800,000 US dollars, the album Amicorum fetched a hammer price of $2,100,000. The tradition of the album Amicorum, or Book of Friends, began life in Germany about the middle of the 16th century and quickly caught on with students moving from one university to another in the course of their academic careers. Their professors and fellow students often made contributions to these pages and some of the major scholars of the day are immortalized in such albums. This particular volume was compiled by 16th to 17th century European diplomat Philip Hainhofer. Hainhofer's work put him in contact with important political and court leaders in Europe. It was a friendship album and Philip Hainhofer was a diplomat uh, in the end of the 16th, beginning of the 17th century in Europe, and he met with the most important figures of the day, royalty, noblemen, and uh, noble families. And what he did was, he was interested in autographs, uh, like, like many people are to this day, and instead of bringing something uh, like a baseball or something mundane to sign, he had these very, very elaborate sheets decorated by great artists of his day. He commissioned these, and then would bring them to the notable figures to sign for him and some of them are just incredible works of art in their own right. Autographs include, amongst others, those of Emperor Rudolf II, Cosimo II of Medici, the Grand Duke of Tuscany, and Elizabeth Stuart, Queen of Hearts. Rudolf II's signature is on a page next to a silk portrait of the Emperor. Another fascinating aspect of the volume is the artwork presumed to have been done by natural artist Joris Hofnagel. One million seven hundred thousand dollars, thank you. In the room now at one million seven in another place. Two million dollars. Go by ones. Two million one hundred thousand. The auction, called the History of the Book, also included the collection of Cornelius J. Hauck, who was the heir to a Cincinnati beer brewery fortune. The collection had been housed in the Cincinnati Museum and hardly known or explored. It is in the room now, fair warning at two million one hundred thousand dollars. Sold a mere snip compared to Leonardo da Vinci's notebook, The Codex Hammer, which sold for 30.8 million US dollars. The action was the 1929 7.1 litre short wheelbase two seat sports tourer. In its time, known as the fastest sports car in the world, it could do up to 120 miles an hour. It's a unique collection. It covers um, 